you are watching blessing today legacy talks welcome to blessing today legacy talks today i'm going to talk about you are a miracle there are so many different kinds of miracles many people are looking for miracles and when they uh, come across a miracle they praise the lord but today i'm telling you you are a miracle sam 139 and verse number 14 says i am fearfully and wonderfully made god has created us as a miracle the medical science has not yet researched and fully found out all the functions and metabolism etc of a human body we are a miracle we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the womb of our mother the conception the growth the coming out of our being through the birth canal of our mothers everything is a miracle i tell you again and again you are a miracle stand before a mirror and you will see the miracle of god you are a miracle but this miracle will grow into its full growth only through adversities and challenges in life i want to explain that take the case of a seed any seed hold it in your hands do you know that before it is sown into the earth into the soil god has already written a lot of codes on that small seed growth codes color codes order smell codes growth codes timeline codes reproduction or the next generation codes a lot of codes are already written on that tiny seed we cannot read it god can read it it is inbuilt you are a seed of god you are a miracle of god god has already written a lot of things on you you are carrying the divine codes on you just like god has written millions and millions of information on a dna god has already written millions and millions of information about you on yourself but remember according to john chapter 12 and verse number 24 a corn of wheat until and unless it is sown into the soil it will abide alone but once it is sown it will die it will die and then will come a great harvest so if you are willing to die god is faithful enough to bring out a great harvest out of you you are a miracle your growth is a miracle now when a seed is sown into the soil what happens is people usually remove or dig a hole remove some soil and earth and put the seed inside and they will bury it so what happens now this is a special phase in the growth of a seed what what is happening now now the seed cannot see anything it is buried under the earth now the seed cannot uh, uh breathe the seed has no fellowship there is nobody to encourage the seed there is nobody to pray over the seed there is nobody to give fellowship or companionship or friendship the seed is buried it is buried by dirt dirt has covered the seed now so it is in a desperate situation alone going through loneliness darkness suffocation breathlessness it is about to die now it is in this phase that god is decoding all the written codes on that particular seed isn't that marvelous god is providing god is giving life god is causing that seed to go through such a phase death burial etc but let me tell you after that comes the resurrection power into that seed and it is coming out with fresh tender leaves 
fresh life it is coming out when the life is unleashed it can even grow through rocks and concrete and all kinds of solid stuff it can come out that is the power life contained in a seed i am talking to you right now you are a miracle there is life in you there is a spiritual dna inside of you there are codes written over you millions of codes written over you i know right now i feel the anointing of the holy spirit over my life and i know something is happening in your life brother sister as a minister as a leader uh, are you are you left alone are you going through a phase where nobody is there to support you is everybody uh, throwing mud and dirt over you criticisms are coming over you false accusations are coming over you i am here to tell you i am here to prophesy over you that it is god's time to take you out with resurrection power you're going to multiply you're going to increase you're going to give the lord a harvest and glorify the name of the father i know i am talking in the holy spirit your ministry is go- going to change your ministry is going to the next phase and level the next dimension and god is going to give you an increase to some of the leaders and ministers the holy spirit is saying that you're going to spread across the world across the continents jesus had to go through such phase in his life moses had to go through such phase in his life paul had to go through such phase in his life every man and woman of god in this life in the history they had to go through such phase so so take courage don't lose your heart you are a miracle i tell you you are a miracle i want to say it again you are a miracle of god just go ahead and praise him god bless you join us next week for a new episode of blessing today legacy talks subscribe to damian anthony youtube channel right now